Project initiation is the time when we define the project scope and business objectives. It's an exciting time as ideas take shape, anticipation builds for outcomes being brought to life. With great anticipation can also come a bit of anxiety. It's this anxiety that we need to keep in check to maintain our ethical integrity. Here are a few of the ethical sticking points we need to watch for during this project stage. Be totally transparent with your business case development. Justification for projects often falls to the project manager. You could be told what savings elements or sales increases may come about as a result of the project. Be careful here. As the author of a business case, you could be asked to provide the backup data for the claims you make in your case. Be transparent and ensure you have captured all the data used to build your business case. Your name is on the document, so its data should be defendable. Second, watch for assumptions that aren't stated as assumptions. Early in the project life cycle, you may not know all the details about what the project will create or what the as-is business situation might be. Ensure the information you get is factual and not an assumption of what's true. Now, it's okay to have assumptions early in the project life cycle, but if it's an assumption, be transparent, state it as such until you can validate any statement as fact. Third, Avoid detailed estimating when the data isn't there. One of the biggest challenges we face as project managers is estimating how long a project will take or how much it will cost. PMI has three stages for estimating, order of magnitude, budgetary, and definitive, because as we progress through the project life cycle, we know more so we can estimate more accurately. Use those estimation labels so you can give more accurate estimates. Rather than just saying, my estimate is $180,000, say, my order of magnitude estimate is $180,000. So you aren't perceived as providing an estimate based on more knowledge or data than you actually have. My last sticking point is, don't make the assumption that your project will proceed. Although you may be receiving positive statements from your sponsor, until you have formal sign-off, you should not be telling team members or vendors that the project will proceed. To do so can send others onto a financial and or emotional path that would be difficult to reverse. Demonstrate honesty and respect for others. Don't indicate your project is moving forward until your organization formally approves it. Focus on ethics during initiation, and you'll establish expectations that will last you until your deliverables are brought to life.